What I've got right now is a review of Ant-Man and the Wasp on 4K Blu-ray. Disney sent me uh, the disc to review Disney and Marvel. Um, and I was excited to take a look at this movie again because I had a good time at the movie theater, but I wanted to see how everything held up uh, on a 4K display and to sort of dive back into the world of uh, Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne, played uh, by uh, Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly, of course. And man, am I proud. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I'm super, super proud of Evangeline Lilly. Man, she has gone so far with her career, and she's fantastic as the superhero. She really makes this movie something special, honestly. It's the fact that the Wasp is so central and so kick-ass and so fun to watch. And her repartee and her um, camaraderie with uh, Paul Rudd and Scott Lang, you can tell that they're just having a great time in there. Michael Pena is in there, Michael Douglas. Um, also, Michelle Pfeiffer, who is you know one of my big crushes of my life. Uh, she's terrific as uh, Janet Van Dyne in here um, and we've also got uh, Lawrence Fishburne and uh, you know the cast of thousands uh, I, I think it's uh, uh, Hannah Karam I can't remember the the actress's name that plays Ghost um, she's also solid but unfortunately she's kind of hampered uh, by being the the villain of this movie but with not really a tremendous amount of drama there's a great deal of fun a great deal of lightness and um, you know sort of an optimistic streak about this film which is enjoyable to to watch, uh, but it doesn't really have the stakes uh, or the sort of emotional punch or power that some of the other Marvel movies have uh, or have had, especially in this year of, uh, you know, the Avengers Infinity War. Um, but it was still a very enjoyable rewatch. And one of the things that I really liked about seeing this on 4K on my, on my screen was uh, we normally get these Marvel movies that are really fantastical with all kinds of special effects and visual effects and people flying in outer space and, you know, different planets and beautiful, you, you know, blue screen and uh, uh, crafted exterior shots and things that are embellished like crazy. In this movie, we actually are on the streets of San Francisco. They shot a lot of it in Atlanta, but they also shot a lot of exterior stuff in San Francisco. And I've been to San Francisco so much, it's like a second home for me because of all the work that I've done with EP over the years. So to see it in 4K pop off the screen like that, it was a really big illuminating moment for me because this was a very real destination that I know very well and it was honestly like looking out a window, you know, it was like, I've been on these streets, I've been down Lombard, and just the way they framed and shot everything, it looked great. And then, of course, they add in all of the uh, the grow and shrink effects in this movie, which are a delight. I mean, the fact that the uh, the cars are all sort of Hot Wheels cars that are carried in a case, thought that was awesome. Thought that, uh, you know, uh, Hope Van Dyne's new abilities to shoot these little uh, expander projectiles and they would make a giant Pez out of a Hello Kitty Pez thing was fantastic. Lots of great little touches like that. But but there is so much grounded uh, photo real stuff in this movie, effects wise, but also because so much is shot with cool exteriors and on location, it's meant to look realistic. And I liked all of that. You know, the problem that it creates though, when you compare it and contrast it to some of the other Marvel stuff, which is so big and so epic, is that it feels a little slight. And I didn't, I didn't feel like our kick-ass heroes were ever in that much peril because everything is kind of played for laughs. Uh, and it wasn't also as much of a surprise as the first Ant-Man was, you know? And that was, the first Ant-Man is a movie that I watched again and again and, and, and got more from it every time that I have. And I feel like... I'm not going to get the same amount of joy out of watching Ant-Man and the Wasp. Even though it has fantastic elements, I don't feel like it all gels together um, with that sort of surprise bow wrapped around it um, in quite the same way that the original Ant-Man does. Even though there's some things that tie it to the MCU in some pretty cool and significant ways, uh, you know, some illusions and some nods and uh, some cool after credit sequences. Also a great cameo by Stan Lee. Uh, the behind the scenes stuff is all a lot of platitudes and a lot of people talking about how, how funny Paul Rudd is, how amazing it is that uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is playing Evangeline Lilly's uh, uh, mom, uh, how, what a cool cat Michael Douglas is and what a kick-ass, you know, a female superhero, just a, an amazing warrior Evangeline Lilly is to take the, the role of Wasp. Uh, and it's fun to watch and the gag reel is fun to watch, but it doesn't really dive into the mythology in a massive way. Uh, it, it does sort of give you a little bit of the quantum uh, realm kind of uh, backstory and, and it gives you a sense of how these effects came together and what it all means, uh, or it, it teases what it all means because we, we do know that 
there's going to be more to this quantum realm stuff in uh, in future Marvel movies. I, listen, I think it's good. I don't think it's the best of the uh, MCU flicks. I think it's a great Blu-ray, though, particularly if you want or a 4K Blu-ray, if you want to show off. Uh, if you've ever been to uh, San Francisco and you've got some uh, some photographs of uh, your time there, you can kind of compare and contrast to the fidelity of this experience when you see it on your 4K display. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen the movie. Um, and I would say that this is, you know, depending on how much you love the actors and the characters, I don't know if this is an immediate pickup for you. You may want to wait for a sale or something if uh, you weren't as crazed about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, as you hoped you might have been. Still, very solid. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 